and praise for indeed our Elohim has given us wonderful instructions and we will follow these instructions because it is the way of life. He has placed before you life and death. Choose one. And I choose life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give Yahweh honor. We give him praise as we go through a short message today. We are not going to be long. Hallelujah. We are going through a short, short, short message today. Yeah. Just some reminders. and um, Yes. So we are going to John chapter 8 from verse 1 to verse 11. Praise Yahweh. We give him thanks and praise for he is with us, for he has blessed us, Hallelujah. and he has been good to us. We can't complain. There is no reason to complain. Wait and murmur not. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, we thank you for the opportunity to fellowship. We thank you for the opportunity to come before you. We pray that you send your Holy Spirit upon us. And we pray in the name of Yahshua that you bless us with good understanding, perfect understanding of your scriptures. And help us that we don't just be readers and hearers of the word, but doers of the word. In the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. I greet you one more time in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. And I thank you very much for tuning in and also visiting. My dear brothers and sisters, many times in our lives, we go to service and we only get... Preachers, pastors, and they only lash out at the brethren. But today, I would like to congratulate every one of us, the fellow saints of the Almighty. Hallelujah. I want to congratulate every brother and every sister that have been on this road and that has not given up. We are not looking for only negatives. Right. We are also congratulating our fellow brothers and sisters for remaining on the path for it is not an easy road for it is the narrow way yes, blood is the way that leads to destruction and narrow is the way that will lead you to Yahweh yes. I power phrase I will not say it word for word but you get the idea straight is the way okay so we give Yahweh thanks and praise for allowing us to remain on the right path we have to congratulate each other and not only lash out at each other. This is the day that Yahweh has made and we'll be glad. We will rejoice in it and we will give Yahweh thanks and praise and we will shake each other's hand, congratulate them and say, well done my sister, hold on strong my brother, do not give up. Because I can tell you my brothers and sisters, the devil is not going to allow you or me to ever enter that kingdom freely and just like that. It's not an easy road. Don't let anybody fool you and say it's an easy road. It's just that sometimes you gain experience and you are able to navigate better and ride through the waves of spirituality better than others. But it is not an easy road. And if the devil himself went on and tempted Yahshua, who is me? Who is Who are you for the devil not to tempt you? And for the devil not to try to cause you not to enter that kingdom. I can tell you my brothers and sisters. The devil know for sure that he cannot enter that kingdom anymore. So he is trying his best to prevent every single one of us from entering the kingdom. But we say no. The devil is a liar. On Yahweh on our side. With Yahweh on our side. We will prevail. And we will enter that kingdom and we will walk the streets of gold and we will tell the devil, get thee behind me, Satan. Yahweh rebuke you in the name of Yahshua. I can tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, that this road is not an easy road. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't let anybody deceive you. This road is not an easy road. Yes, sir. There will be temptation left, right, and center. There will be all kind of things and all kind of people trying to prevent you from entering that kingdom. Yes. The devil will use mother. The devil will use sister. The devil will use brother. The devil will use husband or wife. The devil will even use pastors okay. and pastors' wives yes. okay. to prevent you from entering that kingdom. My dear brothers and sisters, the time is at hand. Come on, sir. Make up your mind. Come on, sir. Make up your mind and tell them the devil is a liar. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, 
We will not fight them physically, but we'll go on our knees night and day, yes. and we will defeat them. For Yahweh yes. said, the battle is his, and victory is ours. So I congratulate you, my dear brothers and sisters. There is no time to lash out at anybody, because if you think you're something, you are nothing according to the scripture. So we go turn our Bibles to, Mark, to John chapter 8, and it said... Yahshua went on to the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in, ad ad in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said unto him, Teacher, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? Then they said, tempting him, that they might have uh, to accuse him. But Yahshua stood down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. Yes, so when they continued asking him, uh -huh. he lifted up himself and he said unto them, He that is without sin, hallelujah, hallelujah. he that is without sin among you, right. let him first cast a stone. Right. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground, and they which heard it being convicted by yes. their own conscience yes. went out one by one, being at the eldest, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Yahshua was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Yahshua had lifted up himself, and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Have not one man condemned thee? She said, No, master. Mm -hmm. And Yahshua said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Hallelujah. Go and sin no more. Hallelujah. Beautiful Hallelujah. scripture. Go and sin no more. Right. He who is without sin, cast the first stone. Right. Okay. Too many times we would walk and we would see people trying to take the job of Satan. Satan is the accuser of the brethren. Yes, Let us try our best now not to take the job of Satan. And we will go to Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 to 5 and it will tell us what to do. All right. Instead of coming and accuse people trying to believe we are better than others. And every one of us are struggling to enter the kingdom of Yahweh. Instead of us trying to fight against each other. We ask the children of Yahweh, human beings on this earth, should come together, work as a team, and help each other enter that kingdom. And instead of doing that, they want to come and accuse each other, compete with Satan. They want to compete with Satan as if they are Satan accusing each other. My goodness, merciful Father. And I we will go to Matthew. St. Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 to 5. And it says, Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye met, it shall be measured to you again. And why holdest thou the mot that is and why holdest thou the mot that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say unto thy brother, Let me pull out the mot out of thine eyes, and behold a beam that is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, help! thou hypocrite! First cast out the beam out of your own eye. All right. And then shall thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Hallelujah. A beam and a moat. Which one is bigger? Hmm. Which one is bigger? 
A beam and a mot, which one is bigger? My dear brothers and sisters, we have scriptures to ponder on. We have scriptures to hit us left, right, and center. We right now have to concentrate, we have to meditate on these two chapters. He who is without sin, cast the first stone. Yes. And before you cast the first stone, Come on now. Goodness, Come on. you have to take out the beam yes, sir. that is in your eyes before you try taking out the small mood that is in your it. brother's eyes. My brothers and sisters, let us critically examine ourselves for none is righteous except Yahshua. He is righteous. You cannot come and tell me how to live my life and you are living a life that will right. prevent you from entering the kingdom of Yahweh. Right, you yeah. are not even ready to walk on the streets of gold and you want to come and tell me how to live my life. My relationship with Yahweh is personal. But my dear brothers and sisters, let not be too comfortable. Let us not be too comfortable. It could be whoever who corrects you. That's true. You must take correction. Yes, sir. Do not be too comfortable and also watch what whoever accuses you is doing mm -hmm. to prevent you from accepting correction for you to enter the kingdom. My dear brothers and sisters, the chapter the Bible said to us, do as they say but not as they do. So don't look on people when they correct you. If Tom, Dick, or Harry has corrected you, even if Tom, Dick, and Harry is living unrighteously, you have to thank him because he maybe loves you more than he loves himself. He wants you to enter the kingdom and maybe he doesn't want to enter the kingdom. My goodness. But sometimes, you know, I'll tell you what, that's not the case most times. Most times they are just being jealous. Okay. And I'll tell you something, my brothers and sisters. There are people that are jealous of sin, you know. Yes. You will be in all kinds of unrighteousness. And someone is coming and claiming that they are correcting you. Do you know that this person is jealous of the unrighteousness, but we should never be proud of unrighteousness, not under any circumstance, not for the split of a second, should we ever be proud in unrighteousness. Do not partake in the things that will prevent you from entering the kingdom. Hallelujah. Regardless whoever comes to you and correct you, because Yahweh will talk to you in any way, through any body. Take the good Council. That's right. But he who is without sin mm. cast the first stone. I congratulate you, our dear brothers and sisters, one more time. But I will tell you, even if today we are walking uprightly, and maybe we are not even walking uprightly. Mm. But we believe we are walking uprightly. That's why we have to critically examine ourselves every single step of the way. Every day, every second. Yes. We have to reflect on every second and see whether we are living our lives the way that is required to enter the kingdom. So my dear brothers and sisters, before we go and want to believe we are better than other people out there, take that boat, take that beam out of your eyes before you go and take it, take the moat out of your dear brother's eye. Right. A beam is bigger than a moat. Yes, you live it in all kind of unrighteousness right. and if you that want to come and say you will correct people, let us not do that. Because it's right. not of Yahweh and the Bible is making it clear to us that we ourselves, we need to repent. That's right. We need to correct ourselves before we go out there to correct other people. Yeah. We need to be able to critically on, examine sir. ourselves, see where we are going wrong, and change everything yeah. that is not right about us before we go out there and try to tell people how to live their lives. They may be at 
being a testimony for us and we don't even know. You cannot come and accuse people and you know you're living more dirty and unrighteous. You can't do that. We have to examine ourselves. We have to see whether we bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit and every attribute of the Holy Spirit before we can and come and tell people to disorder that. Examine ourselves. Critically examine ourselves every day. And then we will come. We will be able to tell Tom, Dick, and Harry, Professor, don't do that. We can tell them, don't do that. But unless we do it, my dear friends, we have all seen and come short to the kingdom of Yahweh. And Yahshua made it clear to them that they cannot stone that woman. But think of it, my friends. There they came to Yahshua with a woman. Caught in the act, right inside action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got that woman into serious action. And they only brought the woman. The woman. Wait a only the woman. Check out life. Some people are being so selfish and unfair. You cannot come to judge a woman if you don't judge the man also. Come on, that's right. How come adultery takes place if it is not two parties? Yes, sir. You need more than one for adultery to take place. You can't come and tell you as well, let us stone the woman to death and you don't bring the man. All right, now. You have to bring the man. That's right, that's right. Both of them should suffer the consequences yes, of the action. Yes, Both of them has a man and both of them will be able to get what because listen man the bible tells you you reap what you sow yeah, right. it's not reap half of what you sow no. the bible says you will reap what you sow if you plant yam you will reap you will harvest yam right. if you plant watermelons you will not harvest pepper That's right. so right. if there is adultery mm -hmm. one person cannot commit adultery they didn't say they got a woman masturbating they got a woman in the act of adultery. Right, that's right. Hypocrites. That's right. They brought the woman to be punished. Exactly. That's what they that's what ignore them. You know, they so they so they so much in competition with Satan. Absolutely. They want to compete with Satan to accuse the children of Yahweh. Who is you? Who is me? To come and accuse anybody. And we are all flesh and blood. Yes. He stooped down and he wrote with his finger. Yes, he ignored them. Yes, he did. Because he knows every one of us. Every one of us. You can't come and report a man or a woman to Yahweh. And you know you live in right, unrighteousness. You, better say that. you have to examine yourself. That's right. You have to cleanse yourself. Hallelujah. And then you will come and correct people. That's right. You cannot come and try and believe you are all holy. In the eyes of man, we are maybe holy. But Yahweh knows our Yahweh secrets. Yahweh. Yahweh knows everything about us. The very same set of people mm -hmm. that will accuse a young lady. If this young lady is at church mm -hmm. and this young lady is poor mm -hmm. and this young lady is trying to earn a living, huh. she gets a boyfriend on the street, then they go into sexual intercourse and then they don't give the, the lady doesn't even have money to go on some birth control or contraception but you know but then we have a dear sister who is working who is rich oh yes this dear sister might come and then you know accuse the poor little sister when sitting in the back she get pregnant because she is trying to earn a living and she gets pregnant as a result of having sex with another brother and while she having sex with the brother she gets pregnant Okay, it is showing, it is seen in the eyes of man. Right. But then Yahweh. we have a sister that is working. Yahweh has blessed her, you know. But she's taking the blessing for granted, using it to buy all kinds of things to prevent herself from fornicating. Yeah. Which sin is bigger? Hmm. You have one sister working, can purchase all the things to prevent her from getting pregnant, right. that it is not seen yeah. in the eyes of man. Right. And you have another sister who is real poor. He's struggling and trying to earn a living. And she's having sex. She got pregnant as a result of not being able to afford whatever 
she had to purchase to prevent her from getting pregnant. Which one is the greater sin? My dear brothers and sisters, you will be surprised to know the very one that did not get pregnant but still engaged in unrighteousness, unrighteous sexual activity will go and accuse the one that is pregnant because I can tell you my friends, this is what is human nature. They, if you cannot see them, they are not guilty. But when you can see them, they will say it was only one time. They will say it was only one time. We cannot cast any stone at anybody. Because one way or the other, you are guilty in an other act. And the book of First John tell you, whoever said that they are of no sin, they are liars. You cannot say you have no sin. The truth is not in you. And if you say you have no sin, you are a liar. And you are a child of the devil. Don't come and accuse the saints because they cannot see what you're doing. Do not come and accuse anybody because they cannot see your unrighteousness. You are able to cover it. You are skillful. You are talented enough to keep it in closets. And you believe the eyes of man cannot see you. But Yahweh sees you. You will be exposed. One day you will be exposed. Do not come and pretend. Do not be a hypocrite. This very same man that brought the woman to Yahshua. When Yahshua tell them, okay, if you have those in Kassasu, none of them were able to cast a stone. None of them were qualified to cast a stone. They did not meet the criteria to cast a stone. Are you able to meet the criteria to cast a stone, brothers and sisters? No. If you are able to meet the criteria, cast a stone. Not one. And when the Asher told them, okay, cast a stone, you know what they did? They scatter. Yes. They scatter. If Yahshua wasn't there, we give Yahweh thanks and praise for Yahshua. If Yahshua wasn't there, that woman would be dead meat. You see, when they do men's meat, there is a thing that my wife likes cooking. Um, I can't remember the name, but it's uh, made out of beef. Beef loaf. Yes. <laughs> the particles of that thing is very tiny. When they were done with that woman, that woman would be just like meat loaf. <laughs> you could not get a piece of her. You'd have to pick her up with a spade or a spoon All right. to see pieces of her when these wicked hypocrites. Oh, come on now. You know, and hey, today we still have people right. living the same type of life. That's right. My brothers and sisters, let us try our best to grow spiritually. Mm. Let us try our best to enter the kingdom. Because I cannot help you. Hmm. You can't help me. Hmm. But we must have a personal relationship. That's with right. Yahweh. That's right. And when we enter that kingdom, we will walk the streets of gold. We will take from the street that bears 12 different fruits, one fruit every month. We will take from that. We will be able to string from the river that flows from the throne of Yahweh. Let us examine ourselves. Right. We are not able to stone anybody to death. Right. And it is not the literal stone right now. We should not accuse each other. That's right. Let us help each other. Hallelujah. Let us encourage each other Hallelujah. to enter the kingdom of Yahweh. Yeah. Because we know that we are weak also. Oh, yeah. If it wasn't yeah. Yahshua, we would have been in a mess. Right. So we turn our Bibles to chapter 6 of Galatians for just some other word of advice. Hallelujah. Brethren, if a man be overtaken right. in a fault, ye which are 
spiritual. Restore and one in the spirit of meekness. That's the word. That's right. Concerning thyself, oh, lest thou also be tempted. Right, that's the word. Whatever that tempted your brothers and sisters, you are open to it also. Don't believe you will not be tempted or you are untouchable. The devil came and he tempted Yahshua. Who is you? Who is me? That will not be tempted. My, my brothers and sisters, <laughs> I switch to the Creole sometimes. It's my favorite language. <laughs> Let us try our best to be spiritual. And when you are spiritual, you will restore in the spirit of meekness. Nobody is going to try that you want to come and talk to people. How you want to say you will correct them. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, you, which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou be tempted. Lest thou be tempted. So don't think because you know some scripture. Don't think because you walk with your high heels and your tie and your coming yoke <laughs> and your jacket every Saturday or every day you go to service. You walk with a big Bible in your hand right. to believe you are better than others. All right. This doesn't qualify you. Every time you are every single second that you are alive, there is a possibility that you be tempted and you sin. Tell it, my son. And the worst thing uh -huh. is if you die yeah. in Come on. the act. Yeah. And you don't have the chance to repent. Preach it, son. And for you to make it right Tell with it. the Almighty. Right. Tell it. My dear brothers and sisters, time is against us. Yes, it is. Yahshua is coming and he is coming soon. Yes, it is. Time is against us. Time is against me. Time is against you. Hallelujah. Let us take on every opportunity that we get to grow spiritually and not compete with Satan to be an accuser of the brethren. Yes. This is not acceptable. You are not entitled to accuse anybody. You are not entitled to judge anybody. Right. Your responsibility is to help each other enter the kingdom together. I need one soul to come along with me, for I cannot go to my father with an empty hand. We need each other, and we have to go with each yeah. other. No come and try and feel you are better than the brothers and the sisters because maybe you can memorize certain scriptures mm -hmm. and want to believe you can accuse the children of Yahweh and believe you will enter the kingdom and not them. Accusing them is a sin by itself. You cannot come and do that and feel you will accuse them and believe you will get away with it. No, you cannot get away with it. Repent. Right. Repent from that unrighteousness. Repent yeah. from that satanic lifestyle and unrighteous mentality. You have to repent. And when you repent, let us join hands and sing together and we will enter the kingdom of Yahweh. And my dear brothers and sisters, I can tell you, we are not only talking to people out there, you know. People in the assembly right. That's also right. That's right. is guilty That's of this right. kind of thing. Even pastors. Hypocrite. Yeah, we only gave you a job to help your, to help his people, to right. teach his people. You all want to believe that the children of Yahweh belongs to you all. That's why I don't, some people worship pastors. We don't worship pastors inside of here. We will right. not yeah. do it right. and we are not going to do it. Right. So my dear brothers and sisters, don't be comfortable, you know. Don't be too comfortable. Don't be too comfortable. When they correct you, you have to accept the correction. Because in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26, it says to you, it says to you and me, for he who sins deliberately, 
There is no sacrifice for that sin. So, don't think it's over. Don't believe you also can go and tell people right. he who is without sin cast off a stone. When they correct you, accept correction. Don't tell them if they without sin cast off a stone. Don't tell them that you're living this, you're doing this, you're doing that. That's not your business. Do as they say, but not as they do. That's right. Let us take correction from them, even if we maybe know that they are not doing what is required. Mm -hmm. But that's not our business. Let them and Yahweh deal. Mm -hmm. We are not going to condemn anybody. We are not going to tell anybody they are not entitled. Let them do the thing that's up to them. But let us take correction. Because he who sins, for if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for that sin. So yes, if they without sin, they should cast the first stone. They should take out the beam from the eyes before they try taking out the moat from your eyes. But if you now sin willfully, there remain not a sacrifice. The blood of Yahshua doesn't cover you. All right. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to critically examine ourselves also. We cannot afford to go backwards spiritually. We have to move on. We are marching to Zion. Hallelujah. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. Yeah. We're marching upward to Zion. The beautiful city of Yah. And this is why, my dear brothers and sisters, also in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 6, it tells us clearly, it tells us clearly, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they impel to themselves the Son of Yahweh afresh, and put him to an open shame, my friends, it is impossible it is. to renew them again. Oh, that's right. That's the word. That's so if you sin deliberately, there remains not a sacrifice right. for your sin. And if you know the truth, and then you go and you into your unrighteousness, you backslide, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is impossible yes, it is. Mm -hmm. to renew them again. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 21. So I'll tell you in as long as you will see people trying to live their lives anyway we have to try our best for us to remain on the right path. Mm -hmm. And hear what it says to us. Second chapter, Second Peter chapter 2 verse 21. Mm, yes. For it has being better for them not to have known the way of righteousness right. than after they have known it to turn from the right. holy commandment right. delivered unto them. Right. My friends, it is better for you not to know the word of Yahweh right. than for you to know the word of Yahweh and you turn away from it. Come on. You are not a dog. Because the scripture said, but it is happened unto them, according to the truth proverb, the dog is turned to his own from it again. And the saw that was washed to her hallowing in the mind. My brothers and sisters, let us not let ourselves be classified or be in the dog category. Right, we cannot go back to our vomits. If you are a, a, a true believer of Yahweh, you cannot go backward. Yes, if you go backward into your spiritual vomit, you are not qualified to enter the kingdom. Yes. It is impossible to renew you unto repentance right. and then there is no more a sacrifice right. for your sin. Yes. So it is in your hands it is better if you did not know the truth right. than for you to know the truth.
and for you to backslide. Don't come and say tomorrow you will be better. Tomorrow is not a promise for any man. It is not a promise for me. It is not a promise for you. It is not a promise for her. It is not a promise for the pastor. It is not a promise for any man. Let us not depend on tomorrow. Right now is the time for us to make that decision. For us to never, never backslide. Never backslide. Let us improve on our relationship with Almighty Yahweh. Let us carefully listen and let us walk that path that Yahweh has called us to walk. And we will enter the kingdom smiling. And when the trumpet sounds, the clouds will burst and those that are alive and well will cut up to meet him in the cloud. Yes. And I can tell you, partly Joseph will enter that kingdom in the right. name right. of Yahshua. Okay. I am going yes. to enter that kingdom. Yes. And hallelujah, thanks be to Yahweh for Yahshua. I cannot afford to burn in hell. Right. My goodness, if you light a matchstick or light up, can you feel that heat? Yes, you can. And you think I can afford to get burned in hell? Father, help me in the mighty name of Yahshua. Bradley is not going to burn. No way. I will fight night and day. I will repent every second. I will sing songs of praise. Let us sing songs of praise every day, brethren. Let us sing psalms. Let us make melody on one to another. And then we will enter the kingdom in Ephesians chapter 6. That's what the scripture asks us to do. We cannot afford not to enter the kingdom. We cannot afford to burn. Especially if you get burned with that thing they call, you know, the coconut shell. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, the coconut shell fire is hot. If I, like I was saying, I told my wife, the coconut shell fire, I can say maybe it's just like hellfire. That's the only fire I ever experienced that is so hot. Wow. Coconut shell fire. So, and in Creole, they, they say, the face they call cocoa. And it is the only fire I have ever experienced. The only heat I have ever experienced that is more than 200 degrees Celsius. <laughs> So you can imagine hellfire. My goodness, you can imagine hellfire. So how about chapter, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 19 says to you, tell you, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Messiah. Giving thanks always for all things unto Elohim the Father in the name of our Master Yahshua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray that Yahweh take control of our conversation, Hallelujah. our thoughts and actions, that when He return, we be able to enter in the kingdom. So before we go and accuse people. Let us examine ourselves. So it is not telling those people that are accused not to accuse them. It's telling us also not to go and accuse. Right, right. That's not our job. We're not Satan. Right. Satan is the accuser of the brethren. Not me, not you. Right. And in Galatians chapter 6, verse 10, in closing, this is a wonderful advice for us. As we have therefore opportunity let us do good unto all men. Especially. Especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Right. That's why I tell you, right. congratulations. Congratulations, my dear brothers and sisters, for being in the faith, for being on the right path. Congratulations. I am not here to condemn anybody or judge anybody, but congratulate everybody and tell everybody, let us work together and we shall enter that kingdom, that beautiful city yes. of Yah. And we give Yahweh thanks and praise as we say hallelujah and hallelujah. we are going to stand and sing our last song and we are going to enter the kingdom, you know, no matter what.
We are going to enter the kingdom, beautiful city of Yah. One more time, we are going to sing you, our Father. our theme song. Hallelujah! We are entering into king in the kingdom. Yes. We are marching to Zion. Yes, beautiful, beautiful Zion. Hallelujah! We are marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of Yah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We are going to sing that song one more time. As we close, we are marching to Zion. Hallelujah. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. Hallelujah. We are marching to Zion. Yes. The beautiful city of Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give Yahweh thanks and praise for such a blessing, for such a wonderful day of rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we find joy in our voices together with timbrels and claps and we make it a joyful night. Come we the Lord of Yahweh and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord. Join in a song with sweet accord and thus so Oh, oh, oh. 
Zion, which is the beautiful city of Yah. We thank you everyone for coming. We thank you also for viewing as we close. We come to pray. We come and we pray. We say, Heavenly Father, the I am that I am, the King of Kings, the burning fire, we humbly come to you this day in the name of your son, Yahshua. Father in heaven, we give you thanks and praise for your many blessings. We give you thanks and praise for everything you have done for us and given to us that we know of and do not know of, that we understand and we do not understand. All honor, all praises be unto you, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for it belongs to you. We honor you, O Heavenly Father. We give you praise. Hallelujah. To the King of Kings, Majesty who reigns supreme, the creator of mankind, the I am that I am, we thank you. For we come to you, we beg for your forgiveness, Father. Because we know, Father, sin is not of you. And we might sin, it is possible for us to sin. We pray, Yahweh, that you please forgive us our sins. Please help us be spiritually stronger. Pure, holy, and righteous from now and forever. Hallelujah. We pray, Father in heaven, that you take control of our thoughts, our actions, our emotions, and conversation. And help us, Father, that we don't sin in thoughts, in words, and action. Right. But help us that we get closer to you. That when Yahshua return, we'll be able to enter the kingdom with him. But Father, we pray for protection. We pray for enlightenment. Yeah. We beg for wisdom, Father. We pray that you bless us with good knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yeah. And bless us, help us, Yahweh, that we don't just be readers and hearers of your word, but doers of your word. Yeah. And we pray, oh, Father, yes, Father, that you encamp your holy angels around every one of us yeah. and everyone who listen to this broadcast. We pray that you encamp your holy angels around every one of us, please guide and protect us, deliver us, and set us free in the name of Yahshua from evil in any and every of his forms, from Obia, from witchcraft, from necromancy, voodoo, sorcerers, gunshots, cutlasses, principalities, rulers of darkness. We pray Yahweh that you cast them out of our path, cast them out of our way, and uproot every tree that was planted in our lives that was not planted by you. And in the name of Yahshua, we pull the stronghold and we claim the victory for no weapon form against us shall prosper. And in the name of Yahshua, we condemn every single tongue that rises against us in judgment. We cancel every spell. We cancel every curse. Hallelujah. For Yahweh is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? Yahweh is the strength of our life. Of whom shall we be afraid? When the enemy comes in like a flood, we will not be afraid. For Yahweh is our shepherd. And he makes us to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Yahweh. Plead our cause, oh yeah. And fight against those who fight against us. Take hold of shield and buckler. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, deliver us from evil men of this world. Deliver us from our enemies that we know of and those we do not know of. Deliver us from them. And we pray, Yahweh, that you send your holy angels to be encamped around us as we place a wall of fire round up about us. And don't let evil have contact with our body, spirit, soul, and mind. Don't let evil be able to do us wrong. Don't let anybody or evil forces be able to kill us or cut our life short. For we shall not die and we will live at the fullest. Yahweh is our protector. We give you thanks, Yahweh. We claim the blessing in the name of Yahshua. We have accepted it. For where two or more are gathered, that the blessing shall be. And whatever two place their hands on, it shall come to pass. And we place our hands on this request. And we have accepted it. It shall come to pass. We thank you, Yahweh. 
take charge and take control. We pray that you protect our immediate and extended family members. Bless us all with traveling mercies on every journey that we have to be. And we pray, Yahweh, that you cleanse us, sanctify us, purify us, guide and protect us, teach us and lead us. We thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Bless Yahweh, my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his Kodesh name. Thank you, Yahweh. In Yahshua's name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.